Hi, and welcome to my um, continuation of my series um, watching and um, reviewing all of the Tom Hanks movies that I have on DVD. And also, this is my continuation of my series uh, watching and uh, reviewing some, some of my favorite actor or actress uh, movies that I have watched their movies on DVD that I consider to be some of my favorite uh, actor or actress of all time. Okay? And, uh, and also, if you've been following me here on my channel, then you know who are some of my favorite uh, actor or actress of all time. Okay? Like um, John Wayne, Dan Garner, uh, Harrison Ford. Okay, that's the name of you. Okay? And yeah, Tom Hanks is one of my favorite uh, actors. Okay? Come up from the movie, I, I think I'm in or what, I enjoy it, okay? Um, okay? So, um, so today for this, um, Tom Hanks, um, uh, movie review, I'll be reviewing, uh, Bridge of Spider, okay? So, let me know in the comment section below before I get started with my movie review of Bridge of Spider. Have you seen it? You think it overrated, underrated? Uh, are you a fan of Tom Hanks? Uh, if you are, what are some of your favorite Tom Hanks movies? And uh, what are some of your favorite actor or actors of all time that you like? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you um, the background of the movie. And then I can give you the background on the movie, and then I'll uh, give you my thoughts and opinion on the movie. And then I'll give you the grade, and then I'll be done. Okay? So, uh, it, uh, Bridges 5 was directed by Steven Spielberg, Star Tom Hanks, uh, Mark Ryan, Amy Ryan, and Alan Alde. Um, Came out um, October 16, 2015, 141 minutes. Um, caught 40 million in May and made 165.5 million at the box office, okay? Uh, the film was a box office with that, grossing 165 million worldwide on a 40 million budget. It received six Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. Best original screenplay and one best supporting actor for Ryan. Okay? Um, okay, um, so, um, now, you go to Ryan Tomatoes. Don't we all get loved by Tomatoes? No. Um, Critics on Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 91%, uh, the audience 87, okay? Um, now, um, okay, um, now, I'm going to look up something in a minute, and we're going to talk about it, okay? Uh, okay, um, it's just about Steven Spielberg, um, I like I like when um, Steven Spielberg, Clint Eastwood, or Mel Gibson direct a, a true story movie. You know, a movie that's based on a true story. Like I think Clint Eastwood did Dully. That's another Tom Hanks movie that's based on a true story. The guy that flew the plane in the Hudson River. Um, I'll be uh, that that be another one I'll be reviewing shortly. Um, and then. Um, Mel Gibson did um, Half Star Red, another true story movie that I like. So, so I think Mel Gibson, Clint Eastwood, and Steven Spielberg are, are good directors to direct a uh, movie that uh, true story, you know, based on true story. Okay. Uh, 
Those are the three directors. Any of those three directors are good, and those are the ones I want uh, to direct a true, uh, uh, true story movie. You know, movie based on true story. Okay? Um, um, I did see that movie back in 2015, and I do have a binder, a binder with pages in it that have a bunch of movie tickets. That I do collect movie tickets. That's what I'm trying to say. So I want to see real quick uh, if I kept my movie ticket for Blink Spy back in 2015, okay? And maybe, maybe uh, later down the road I'll do a video showing you all my movie tickets. Okay, that I kept. Okay. Because uh, I think the first one I kept was like in 2010 or something. Okay. Okay. Yep. Here it is. Okay. Uh, and sometimes if I keep a movie ticket more than one, you know, like if I have multiple tickets of it, Sometimes that means I saw more than one, or maybe uh, I took a family member with me, okay? So I always uh, uh, have one movie ticket, I, I kept one movie ticket at British Spies, okay? That means I probably only saw one, and, and okay? Uh, okay? And I got a bunch of pages of movie tickets that, that I saw, maybe. I'll do a video showing you all my movie ticket that, that I kept. Okay. Um. Now, um, I'm a big fan of uh, Bio Pit and also movie that based on true story. Okay. Uh. Okay. Along with comedy movies and horror movies. Okay. Those are the type of movies I like. Also, action. So really, really, I don't. I'm. I'm I like all type of movies, okay? Uh, um, if that movie came out, uh, if that movie came out the same day at a Marvel movie, I would probably read the Dead in a Marvel movie, okay? Okay, because or even a DC movie, okay? Or, you know, I should say a comic book movie, okay? Because uh, because I l l like true story movies, okay? But, but with this movie, um, I'm not familiar, I'm not familiar with, uh, with the story, okay, so I probably have to uh, look it up or ask on my family members about it, um, and, um, Yeah, alright. Uh, okay. And, um, so, what the movie's about is, um, Tom Hanks is James Donovan, he's an insurance, uh, lawyer who, who, um, who had the client named, um, Abel, Rudolph Abel, and everyone in the United States, he's a, he's a spy. And, and they want to hang him, put him in prison and hang him. And he took, uh, uh, James Dollarman, you know, Tom Hanks character, tells the judge, I think it'll be in the best interest of the nation, our interest, if we keep him alive. Cause what if happened if somebody, uh, one of our, uh, soldiers, uh, some U.S. is shot down and we have somebody to trade for him? Basically, that would happen, okay? But then, uh, then you got this Gary Power, Francis Gary Power, who gets, who were taking pictures in the airplane, um, and he gets shot down, and then, in the middle of the movie, uh, you get the, you get the, uh, uh, Francis Pryor, who's a young boy who wants to study economics in Berlin. I'm like, what? Why you want to do that? Berlin is a dangerous country back in that time during the Cold War where where you climb the wall, they shoot you. Okay? 
and they do show that, uh, like one, two, like at least one thing, um, cause you know, if they show that more than once, then it'll probably be the movie returning to where they are. Uh, it's just a PG-13 movie, okay? Um, um, so, um, um, okay, um, what else, um, yeah, so, so, um, so he get captured, the young boy, the one that was studied, wants, wants to go to Berlin, and study economics in Berlin, he get captured, and, so, um, James Donovan go to, uh, Berlin with, with some other guy, uh, let's see, what's his name, um, I don't know, okay? Uh, but, but some, some, some person, um, okay? And, uh, let me see here, um, uh, but, but, it, it, but it, it's some, uh, 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 some guy from the U.S., and I think, and it, it, they keep, they keep telling him that, uh, prior, we only fire if fire not important, it just um get, uh Francis Gary Power. And so they they had the chain and he worked it out where he he can change uh uh real able for prior and uh Francis Gary Power. Two for one. And he does, and uh, but he does all that, and he can't tell his his uh, when when he goes over to Berlin and does all that, he can't tell his wife his wife or anybody about it. And then and the movie ends where uh, his wife and kids find out on TV, and he he goes back and um. In the bed and fall over and fall to sleep, okay? And they think that, uh, he went fishing for family. Cause that's what they told, that's what he told his family before he went away, you know, to Berlin, cause he couldn't tell them, okay? And then the movie ends, he get on the train, after that, and it, it, it tells the, uh, the, 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 the true story, you know, you know what happened, the, the, the historical uh, accuracy, okay, and so, um, um, so, um, we're getting a Cold War movie, um, okay, um, it says, commentators have noted that the short, uh, time span in the film had, get, had at time given a mix lit, lit, lit leading, Imperation, certain lightning taken in the of uh, the Berlin Wall. Donovan did not see Berlin Wall the uh, gate being shot. The one most similar to the one the fight was the kill, killing of Peter Fucking. The summer after the power able to change on the Great Itch Nick Bridge. Uh, cause that's where the change took place, okay? Uh, the circumstance, uh, regular prior detention were not accurately portrayed. He could, he could not have caught particularly built wall and could commit confidential material. Okay, um, so, um, So, um, yeah, okay, um, so, um, uh, if you like true story movies, uh, if you like Tom Hanks, if you like Steven Spielberg, highly recommend it, uh, the only thing, uh, um, that I'm negative on it about is I don't know the, 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 true history about this movie, okay? Um, 
Because I don't know who Gay Power is. I don't know who Pyre is. I don't know if they were real, okay? Uh, if if they did one on like so many people today, I probably know. Like, if they did one on 9 11 or if they did one on Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Because okay, people are talking about that today, and I know it. Um, like, I know, I know about, I know about, uh, the one they did on, um, Elvis, because, 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 you know, everyone knows who Elvis did and how he died. He died on the toilet. Okay? And I know all his songs. Okay? Um, okay? Um, uh, if they did a biopic on the Beatles, I, I probably know most everything about the Beatles. Because that's another one. Okay? Um, so every once in a while, there's a, there's a, uh, a biopic or a true story movie I don't, I don't know the history of. So, okay. But, but everyone thought there would be a true story or, or a biopic movie that I know of. Like, I know, I know, uh, the biopic movie, you know, about Elvis. The one they did, and Tom Hanks was in it. Okay? He was the colonel. He couldn't, he couldn't let, uh, he, he wanted to let Elvis tour around the world. Okay? Because Colonel was a illegal alien. And that'll be, that'll be the next, uh, that'll, that'll be another, uh, Tom Hanks movie I'll reveal. Okay? Um, okay? Cause I'm a, I'm a, I really like biopit. And, uh, you know, you know, music biopit. And I like movies based on true stories. Okay? Um, so, um, yeah, so I highly recommend it, and like I said, the only negative that I would give this movie is, I, I really don't know that, uh, the true story of this movie, okay, so I don't know what is not true or not true, what true and not true, but other than that, I like it, I enjoyed it, uh, I would rather watch this, the most movie, uh, most movie that come out today, or, or most of the comic book movies that come out today from Marvel and uh, DC, Okay, and um, like I said, if I want about if I want a true story movie to be made, um, I want either Steven Spielberg or Mel Gibson or Clint Eastwood to dress it. Okay, and I'm gonna get Bridge of Spies. Um, an A. Okay. So, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. I look forward to more of my uh, Tom Hanks uh, movie review. Thank you and God bless.